We're up to video 9 of the fractions video series and this one looks at subtracting fractions very similar to the adding of fractions but let's check out the differences okay first of all we're having a look at subtracting fractions with the same bottoms like 4 fifths minus 1 fifth subtract across the top 4 minus 1 is 3 keep the bottoms the same 5 and we'll just check if we can simplify. I think 3 fifths is the simplest version we can get there. I can't think of any numbers other than 1 that can go into them, and 1 doesn't help much. So that's it. I subtract across the top and keep the bottoms the same. Another example, 7 over 10 minus 3 over 10. We've got the same bottoms here, so it's going to be one of our easier ones. Subtracting across the top, 7 minus 3 gives us 4 on the top. And on the bottom, if we keep the bottoms the same, we get 4 over 10. Now, step 3 over here is to simplify if possible. Now, I'm pretty sure I can pick a number that can go into 4 and 10. They're both even numbers. And so, in theory, 2 should be able to divide into each of them. So, if you can spot a number that can divide into each, we'll simplify it by dividing by 2 on the top and dividing by the same number on the bottom. That's how we simplify fractions. We saw that in uh, video 3 of the series. So on the top, 4 divided by 2 goes twice, and on the bottom, 10 divided by 2 goes 5 times. And uh, no further simplifying is possible, but we should just check whether we've simplified that fully, and we have. Good, OK, so subtract across the top, keep the bottoms the same, and just look to see if you can simplify. Now, subtracting fractions with different bottoms is another kettle of fish. Here we've got different bottoms. One bottom is 5, the other bottom is 3. We're doing a subtraction between them. We can't just sub subtract straight out. We've got to change them so they have the same bottoms first. Uh, we had to do the same thing when we're adding fractions with different bottoms. OK, so what bottom should I choose to, to turn 5 and 3 into? Well, 5 times 3 is 15, so that's a good one to choose. So let's have a look. I'll do this carefully just to make sure you get it in your minds. We've turned uh, 4 fifths into something over 15, or we're trying to. What have we done to that 5 to make 15? We've multiplied by 3. The rule is, whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top, in terms of multiplies and divides. So if we times 3 on the top as well, 4 times 3 should make 12 there. Yep, it does. <laughs> what have we done on this second fraction to turn a bottom of 3 into a bottom of 15. We've multiplied by 5, if we're good on our tables. And whatever we do the bottom, we've got to do the top, so we'd better multiply the top by 5. 5 times 2 is 10, I'm hoping for. Oh yeah. OK, now they've got the same bottoms. It makes it like the previous uh, ones, previous examples we just had a look at. We subtract across the top, so 12 minus 10 is 2 for the top, and we keep the bottoms the same. So it's still 2 over 15. We also should see if we can simplify it all, but I don't think we can, so we'll leave it at that. Let's have a look at uh, one more example. Once again, we've got uh, a subtraction happening, but we've got two different bottoms. Now, can you see what uh, new bottoms we might change them into so they've got the same bottoms? Up here, we did 5 times 3 to make 15, which, which created our new bottom numbers up here. So what do you think we should use as our bottoms here? 4 and 5? Well, let's multiply those two and make 20 for our new bottoms. Works best that way. OK, let's carefully think to ourselves, what have we done to the 4 to create 20? Well, I think we've times that by 5. Better do the same to the top times by 5. 3 fives are 15 for that new top. What have I done to the 5 to make 20? I've multiplied by 4. I'd better do the same to the top. So I think 4 times 1 is 4. Now that we've ticked off making the bottoms the same, we can subtract across the top. 15 minus 4 makes 11. And we'll keep the bottoms the same. We should just check to see if we can simplify it all. No, I can't think of anything other than 1 that goes into 11 and 20. So we're done. So we're going to make the same bottoms. Then we subtract across the top and 
keep the bottom the same and at the end we just see if we can simplify. So there are the rules. Uh, have a look at those examples again if you wish. Once again, using a calculator is an absolute blessing if you're able to, if you're allowed to. Type the subtraction into your calculator and step 2, press equals and it'll give you your answer. But it's best to uh, be able to add and subtract fractions, whether or not they've got the same bottoms, uh, on paper as well as in your calculator. You can't just rely on your calculator for everything, I'm afraid. be nice if we could. Okay, that's subtracting fractions. Thanks a lot for listening. See you next time.